here on Flex FM 101.4. This is your señorita Andrea Martinez. You may know me from Latin Heat on Tuesdays. Yes, yes, this is now the dream show. And we have a very, very special guest who's going to be here with us very soon. She goes by the name of Gabby L. <laughs> Hoping I don't turn out to be just like them all. She feels like she's falling for yes, me. you guys. So that was Gabrielle featuring Shaki Dreads. And she is here in the building. Gabrielle is a multifaceted artist born and raised in North London, UK. She's a singer, songwriter, rapper and dancer, guys. I mean, talk about triple threat, quadruple threat, okay? Here she is, you guys. Gabby, how are you doing? I am doing great. Thank you for having me, Andrea. How are you doing? Yes, yes, doing good. It is baking outside. Definitely enjoying the sun. So before we get to our little questions, I saw you performed yesterday. I did. Where did you perform? I performed at venue number 10 in Muswell Hill. Cheers! I remember that. We remember yeah, yeah, guys. Cause, so, Gabby, she's, you know, sick, but she's also my best friend. So, <laughs> cheers. We need a little bump for that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. We used to go to this bar called Socialite back in the day, Muswell Hill. And yeah, now they've changed it and she performed it yesterday. That's really, really sick. So, Gabby, can you take me back and the listeners to how it all began? So how did it all start for dance, music, everything? Was it something you always wanted to do or was it a passion that kind of developed um, later on in life? So um, I was always like into music and dance from young. Mm -hmm. I always used to like write things when I was little and stuff. But yeah. Then I got into dance. I was in like dance groups and stuff. And then um, around age 14... I was in a music group. Um. That's right. That was actually one of my questions. You was in juveniles. Yes. Right. So Gabby was in juvenile. She was in this group. We were in school, you guys. We were like in year 11. And we was like, cheers! Gabby's a superstar. Like, we were there doing class. She was, she was going out. She was like, I'm going to shoot a video. It was so sick. So tell me about that. How did that come about? And so how was that experience being in a group? That was really cool. We got scouted for the group, basically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's a few of us. There's like four of us two girls, two guys, two rappers, two singers. Um, it was cool. So we, we, we made a lot of songs and stuff. Um, we was, you know, in the group for a few years. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we went our separate ways. How many of you was? Four of you? Four. Well, originally there was five. Oh, is it? And then someone, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, originally there five. was five. Was and then five, it and went then, down yeah. to, to yeah, four of you. Four, yeah. Two girls and two guys. Yeah, two girls, two guys. So yeah, that was cool. That was fun. Um, that was a cool experience. But it was yeah. a bit like back then in that time, it was a bit like the new end ups. Yeah, I remember. I it, was it was sort of like, yeah, we are coming in strong. There was a few other in. groups in that time. There was Neon Jungle. I don't know if you knew about yeah, them. There was no, Neon yeah, Jungle. There was them. like a boy group as well. I can't remember the name, but they had a few um, songs. Back then, we still had Channel U as well. We did, yeah. We so was, that that we was, was really was, sick. We was up on Channel U still. That was them days there. Yes, yeah. yes. Cool but, times, but yeah, we've grown ahead and spread our wings, fled the nest. Fled the nest. <laughs> yes, yes. Doing solo now. Do you yeah. prefer working in a group or working solo? Do you know what? Um, I think both have their own um, pros and cons. Pros and cons. Mm -hmm. I prefer working alone, but I love working with yeah. people. If you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I love doing projects with different producers, artists. Yeah. You know, but I enjoy the, the freedom of being a solo artist. Of doing your own but, thing. You know, I can relate. I can definitely relate because. Um, as the listeners know, this is like my own show now, but I also work with another show as a group. So you definitely have your pros and cons. Solo is all you, but then as a team, it's nice as well. Um, but yeah, so now we're going to have another song of Gabrielle. It goes by the name of Woe. So I'm great. Sweet, sweet, sweet pussy cat one yuki. See, see, see. Oh, I like how you're looking. If I tell you, come and get it. Don't be at no shooky. Tick tock, ticky tock, tick tock, tocky. Captain, the ship me one right on your toes. Let's You thought you had it like that, but I get coming back. Don't you know what it's like? Scheming on the road. They don't even know. Yes, yes, you guys, and that was Skeeman by Gabby L. She is here in the building right now. Yes. That is such a sick tune, Gabby. So can you tell? 
tell me more about the project? How did it come about? Um, is there a certain inspiration behind it? So, for uh, scheming, um, I was in studio with Enter the A. Mm -hmm. We was actually working on some, um, another interesting fact, I write music for other eyes. So we was working on some bits. We're and triple talented. <laughs> so we was, um, he produced that and then I obviously, I vocaled it. I wrote it and vocaled it. Um, was gonna pitch it to someone else. And I was like, no, 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 this, this song is me. And we finished it and then, yeah, that was like two years ago and I released it last year. That's it. I heard it, I was like, nah, it's 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 a vibe. It, this is this is a Gabby it's song. It's a vibe. It's a Gabby song. It's good you kept it because I definitely think it's a Gabby vibe. And I feel like um when you released that, it was also um it was like a different direction probably yeah. from the last thing you um released before that. So it was that sick, like loving the new sound. Oh. Nice, nice. <laughs> also, I've seen that you performed in Kuwait. Is that right? I did. That's so sick. I so did. how did you get to perform in Kuwait? So, um well, I've had someone that's been um, following my music for a few years. Mm -hmm. um, they're a friend of mine now, really, really cool. Shout out to Mo and um, our guest, Events. Yes, um, yes. So, yeah, so um, Mo contacted me. Um, they have this show in Kuwait called Battle of the Bands, and they basically wanted me to be a headliner. Um, so, yeah, I got thrown out to Kuwait, and it was great. It was. It looked really, really sick. Cool. I remember seeing... Um the the billboards yeah yeah really yeah sick. It made a whole like a billboard. massive billboard um, I had a few radio interviews it was really really cool man was that like a ticking um like ticking something in that the box for you that was definitely ticking something in the box yeah because it, it would have been good like a billboard you've been flowing out for a big show as well headlining yeah, that is yeah, so yeah, sick yeah. nice it was one great. <laughs> That's good, Gabby. So, are you working on anything at the moment that we can tell well, the listeners to, you know, look well, out for? Well, well. so um, I have a few things in the works. Okay, a few things. Um, yeah, I have a few projects, a few songs. I'm just deciding what order I want to release them in. Yes, guys, um, get, get in the artistic, you know, <laughs> process. Yeah, but um, please stay tuned because there is definitely something coming very, very, very soon. But I most recently released a song called Auto Tune. Cheers! We're going to listen to that very shortly, guys. Yeah, that's the most recent thing. Yes, yes. And also, could you tell me what do you feel like is your biggest achievement thus far? Hmm. In music? Yeah, M music or In dance because you do a lot of things. Yeah. So anything career-wise. What is my biggest achievement in music so far? Hmm. I think. Uh, get into like I mean I've always been quite creatively free when it comes to making music but really being confident in that I think that's the highlight so owning your sound like your everything yeah. having that confidence yeah I think that's yeah obviously all the shows and stuff have been amazing Kuwait was yeah, like, of one course. of the most like highlighted things but I think also just just on a on a music thing, yeah. Yeah, think. getting to that point where you've got that confidence, guys. Nice one. So we're gonna go for a little music break, and then we will be back talking with. Yeah. All the listeners, that was Gabby Yeah, with Pop That featuring Monique Lawrence and Miss Bang. Yes, yes. So, how long ago did you do that song, Gabby? This one? Wow, I think that was like 2015. 2015, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. How did that come about? So, it's really sick song, got a lot of features on there. It is a vibe. <laughs> so, that came about. So that came about. <laughs> it's cool. We are live. We, we're humans. You're humans. <laughs> um, so that came about in 2015. I was working with uh, one of my producers. And Sick. then we wanted to do something a bit more up-tempo that people can dance to, vibe to. One for the ladies. For the ladies. And then... Um, um, yeah. It was very like um, women empowerment. I remember it when was. it came out, it was very like yeah, like the girls, it was, yeah. especially for it time for the time it was because it was 2015. So I feel like now it's like with the women empowerment, it's a lot more stronger. That was probably one of like the yeah. first musically the first sort of things, things I saw out there. Come out and then um, I was working with Monique Lawrence at the time. He had the same management team, and we was in the studio quite a bit. And then 
yeah, I was working with the same producer and then he was like, yeah, let's get Monique on it. Monique came through and then, um, yeah, Miss Banks came through and it just it just literally came together kind of naturally. Yeah. And it wasn't forced. We just, you know, it just kind of, it was a vibe. Like it just happened. That's it. Yeah. And that's such a it tune was, as well. Yeah. Love when things happen like that organically. So, Gabby, we are getting to the fun question time. <laughs> it's not scary. It's just little questions. So, okay. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Ah, uh-uh. okay. <laughs> ah, that, I mean, mm. when I think about that, there's so many ideas. So many. But if you could have one, just what one, would what would you be? Su- what, what would you want to do? What would I do? Yes. Well, you well, think about it. I feel it. like oh, I have you got a few superpowers already. So, <laughs> I'm joking. She, she's, she's psychic. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, maybe, I feel like I can fly. Maybe You'd want to fly if you could have a superpower. Maybe. I wouldn't want to fly personally because I'm scared of heights. Yeah, but so am I. So that's why I'm like, yeah, I'll be from. Do you like know what? Terrified. Yeah. If I had a superpower, do you know, like just click and you're in another country. Okay, so yeah. teleportation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. that that is um that is what I would do if I yeah, could like have one. It would be real. to teleport because then you'll never be late. Exactly. <laughs> and that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, today, you know, I was saying we're humans. Today was a, tr- a funny one for all of us. Let me just say that if we had that superpower to teleport, you know. You know. Okay, so here I've got another one, Gabby. Mm-hmm. If you were a type of food, oh. what would you be? I would be a cacao bean. And why? Because I love it. <laughs> just love because? Chocolate. Yeah, just because I love it. A just cacao because. tree. No, but that's a tree. The food. Okay, I'd be yeah, chocolate. it's all right. You yeah. can do a tree. Yeah, yeah. Be chocolate. So a cacao bean and a chocolate. 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 Yeah. Nice one. So far, you want to teleport, be a chocolate. And the last question of the funny questions is, would you rather... I think I know this question. I think I, think I know what you're going to answer. Okay. But let's see if I am correct or wrong. If you could speak all languages or be able to speak to animals which one would you rather oh my god i'd love to speak all languages okay yeah yeah I'd same i thought all you were going to say animals for some reason no, i'd love I to like, speak yeah, all languages make-up. imagine that i need to learn some new languages but for real for i wish real. i could do that you go any yeah. country and you've just got it on smash yeah that's nice well. be amazing Interact with everyone. Yes, yes, you guys. Now we're going to get listening to another one by Gabby L. And this one is Auto Tune. Woo. Baby, if I put the beat on you, so you know what to do. That man a time, baby Can you do it? Yes, and that was the one and only Gabby L with Ooh, Autotune yeah. This is one of your newest ones, isn't it, Gabby? Yeah Tune, that is a tune I've got a few questions, only two more Very more okay. before you go yeah, yeah. Um, So, if you could give advice to someone that's getting started in the music career, yeah. what would you say to them? Just anything brief, what, anything that comes to mind. Create, create from your heart. Mm-hmm. Um, reach out to people. Create, create, create. Keep creating. Keep, keep that the passion going. Mm-hmm. Keep making. Um, you know, don't let anything get you down. Yeah. Kind of thing. Just you know, reach out to people. Um, you know, go to shows. Would you believe? Do you believe by um, the saying that your network, your net worth is your network? That's it. Do you feel like you need I, to network a lot? I think yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you do, but you can also build things online in this day and age as well. Mm-hmm. But I think it's yeah, you gotta have good relationships with people. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's important. But you know, but also the creativity is gonna speak for itself. And, yeah, of you know, course. You know, so ba- keep that creative process, right? Keep it coming, keep it coming. So how can listeners get in touch with you? Mm-hmm. Drop your socials, plug yourself right. right now. So my socials are all Gabrielle Sound. G-A-B-I-E-L Sound. You can find me on Spotify, YouTube, iTunes, Tidal, all digital streaming platforms. I love how she's as, feeling the, the music. <laughs> as Gabrielle. Gabrielle, guys. Yes, so Gabrielle Sound. 
on everything. Nice one. So thank you so much for coming down today, Gabby. It's been a pleasure having you. Short but sweet, but it was really good to, you know, get to know you a bit more and the listeners hopefully can get some inspiration. And guys, contact her if you want that feature, if you want to get working together. Thank you for having me. Big up the dream show. Cheers, a dream show. Big up Andrea Martinez. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you.